Hello again. I was going to wait until Friday, but sending out an update on April 1st might be confusing and these recorded messages can be foolish enough. As you recall I am Roger Lubeck's surrogate. His stand-in. I am here to update you on Roger's accomplishments in the first quarter of 2011. You may remember Roger planned to lose weight, exercise more, work more, and publish his first novel to the western border. So, what do you guess? Did he do anything yet? Any progress? Any books sold? Any pounds lost? Any days on the road? Any new clients? Anything? Or is he still in bed 45 days later? Any bets? No. Well okay, I am happy to report. Roger is out of bed, but he is sitting at his new computer at 7.30 p.m. at night. So how much progress can he have made? Actually, Roger worked with clients every week in February and March. In between client days he finished a final edit on his novel and designed the interior pages and cover. Now he is ready to self-publish, but he's considering paying for an editorial evaluation. The problem is paying someone in New York to tell you how crappy a writer you are and how bad your novel is after 7 years, 120,000 words, and 10 edits. Wow, I wonder if Roger is strong enough for feedback like that at this point? Guess we will have to wait and see. So, let's move on, Roger lost three pounds but he found them again. His exercise has been restricted to walking upstairs to work on the computer and walking downstairs to open the refrigerator. Minus two there, but, on the plus side, Roger's consulting is up and he and Chris have decided to self-publish a business book called Finding the Right Path. So far, they have outlined 12 chapters and written over 130 pages. Pretty good for two months. I give that two in the right column. Seems like a tie. So that is it for this quarter. Oh I forgot to mention, Roger and Chris are presenting in Las Vegas in May, so the quarter may be a tie, but it is definitely moving in the right direction. I guess that calls for a victory dance. See you in a month. Bye for now. Bye bye.